breaking news. The former presidential candidate asked INEC to stop 2023 election series. The presidential candidate of the OP Democratic Party, HDP, in the last election, Chief Ambrose Uwuru, has approached the Federal High Court in Abuja, asking him to stop the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from organizing 2023 presidential election. Uwuru, who was among the four petitioners that went to tribunal to challenge President Muhammadu Buhari's re-election, is in his fresh suit seeking an order to restrain INEC from undertaking or planning any other election into the office of the president in 2023. Uhuru and his party, HDP, had in an earlier appeal, they litigated up to the Supreme Court, insisted that the Justice Muhammad Gaba led presidential election petition tribunal erroneously dismissed a petition they lodged against the return of President Momodu Buhari of the All Progressive Congress APC as winner of the presidential election that aired on February 23, 2019. They specifically prayed that the appeal court to sack Buhari on the, prem on the premise that he emerged through an illegal process. In the fresh suits, Uhuru and his party urged that their suit against Buhari at the Supreme Court as inconclusive, in, in, as inconclusive and the plaintiffs urged that the case was fixed outside the 60 days period that was allowed by the law. Uhuru asked the court to declare him the authentic winner of the last presidential polls, as well as to ensure an order for his immediate inauguration to take over from Buhari. He prayed that the court to declare that he is entitled to serve out a tenor of four years after his former inauguration. Mosu, the HDP presidential candidate, aside from asking for Buhari's immediate removal from office, equally prayed that the court to uh, compel him to refund all salaries, allowances, and emoluments he collected while he unlawfully stayed in office as president. Uri also asked the courts to give an order that salaries, allowances, and emoluments to be paid to him from May 29, 2019, when he ought to have been sworn in till dates. <laughs> wow. This next headline says that FCTA to receive more COVID-19 vaccine in July. The FCT Health and Human Services Secretariat says that the second batch of COVID-19 vaccine will arrive in June. The Acting Secretary of the Secretariat, Dr. Muhammad Kawu, made the disclosure at a news conference in th on Thursday in Abuja to commemorate this year's World Health Day. Kawu urged residents, particularly those in the suburb to get themselves tested and vaccinated against COVID-19 so as to break the chain of transmission within the territory. He said that while more than 132,000 residents had successfully taken the first jab, only 42,000 others had so far taken the second jab of the vaccine. For the first dose, 132,000 people got fascinated. As of June 16, about 42,000 people had gotten the second dose. We still have up to the middle of June or July to finish second dose vaccination. We are therefore appealing to all those who have gotten their first dose to come out and take the second dose, he said. 
the acting secretary further said that the COVID-19 could be controlled by the following appro appropriate guidelines and observing the change in lifestyle, thereby reacting and creating a fairer and healthier world. He assured that the FCT Public Health Department, through its health promotion and education units, would continue to intensify efforts at sensitizing residents on the fundamentals of getting protected against COVID-19. Earlier, the acting director of public health, Dr. Abdurrahsak Sadiq, said that the FCT administration was putting in place measures that would sustain the fight against COVID-19. Sadiq said that all the general hospitals in territory had, had COVID-19 vaccination centers. According to him, efforts are still ongoing to designate some health facilities across the six areas council as COVID-19 vaccination center. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Well, viewers, you, 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 I, I, I guess you listen to the first outline that says the former presidential candidate asked INEC to stop 2023 election. Why would they stop 2023 election? I love what it just said. I love you, the former presidential candidates, for giving them order to stop 2023 election. It should be stopped. Why would it be stopped? You can imagine. It should be stopped. Because we have not fully really gotten what the problems of the what the problems of this country is or how should I what they call it. We're talking about presidency. We're talking about coming out as a pre as a, 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 we are talking about election. Election but election should not hold until this issue of insecurity is being solved. Because we don't have a president as we speak. The president that we claim we have is not doing anything. So he should resolve solve this problem. Then we'll know that the next president that is coming in is or will be capable and competent to move forward. That is it. So if this uh, president is, is is not ready to solve the problems we have in this country, then we are not ready to vote in any president in come 2023. So with what this former presidential candidate have just said, asking INEC to stop 2023 election is what I buy. It's a good idea. I love it and I support it. But I don't know about you. I know some people will not support, but some support. But to me, I think I support it. That is it. So viewers, your take on this will be very much appreciated. Please don't hesitate to drop your comment. Below the comment box, click on the subscription button as well as the bell button for more updates. Thank you.